Um, what are the roles and responsibilities of the committee, the on-site manager, and VC systems? Think of the body corporate like a company, and each unit owner is like a shareholder in that company. The committee is like the company's board of directors, so they get elected each year by the owners in the body corporate. And then separate from the body corporate, um, the body corporate can take advice and assistance from contractors. So one of those would be the on-site manager or the caretaking service contractor, and the other one would be BC Systems or the body corporate manager. So the body corporate is the owners, and the body corporate manager just provides administrative services, and the on-site manager is a contractor, and it also provides services into the body corporate. And a lot of a lot of the time, this is not well understood by owners who think that the body corporate is sort of an entity that they're not part of and they need to interface with. But in fact, like a shareholder in a company, the company relates to all of the owners together. So you've got like a flock of sheep or a school of fish or a body corporate of unit owners. So that's how to think about body corporate. The role and responsibility of the committee of the body corporate is to make the day-to-day -day management decisions as I'm sure you can appreciate, if you've got 70 unit owners, it's very difficult to get them to agree on things. So that's why they elect a committee of up to seven members and those people make the day-to-day -day decisions. That is to avoid needing to go to all owners every time a decision needs to be made, which would be very impractical. So the body corporate is all of the owners. The committee is the elected group each year and the body corporate elects them through the AGM. The role of the on-site manager or caretaking service provider is defined in their contract, and those contracts are all different, but generally speaking, they have responsibilities to carry out um, administrative work for the physical building, so organising contractors, um, getting quotes, talking to residents, monitoring bylaws, and also carrying out work, so doing the gardens, um, cleaning the pool, doing um, minor handyman repairs, so fixing you know, fence palings that have fallen off. So those are typical responsibilities of the caretaker or on-site manager. Um, BC Systems does, it's predominantly an accounting role because a lot of our work is accounts-based. is accounts based. As you can understand, there's lots of payments coming in and out of the body corporate, all of those um, tax obligations I mentioned earlier as well as the financials and audit and the disclosure process to buyers and sellers and insurance. So we do a lot of accounting. We also run the body corporate's meetings and we help to guide the committee as to what they should be doing, what they should be thinking about and how they should make decisions among themselves. And a lot of that is giving advice if the committee says, or well, the on-site manager says, this issue has come up, what do we do with it? That's where the body corporate manager can say, you know, that is that um, quotation is within the committee's limit and the committee can approve it. So why don't you guys have a discussion and make a decision and then we will document that and inform owners. So we do a lot of the accounting and basically the PA work to the committee. Um, and it's also probably important to just reiterate that the committee the on-site manager and BC systems are three separate um, parts of the system and the committee's at the top. So BC systems reports to the committee and the on-site manager reports to the committee. Um, the on-site manager or caretaker does not report to BC systems and we don't report to them. So we're two contractors, both of which reporting into the committee. 